one of the things that I was working on is the tail lights. So I had one light out here, uh, in here, um, in the flashers work, but uh, the 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 um, not constant tail light was off, and then the side markers, um, the clearance markers, all the way around. So I went and got the bulbs. I pulled this one out and it was a traditional incandescent bulb well when i got over here to this one <clears throat> this one had been upgraded to a led by the government or the military so um which is unfortunate because i can't just put the cheap old incandescents in to make it work for you know at least the time being so anyway let me show you what it looks like all right so i got the screws out just these two little flathead screws there and um cover here so here's the incandescent one that i was able to change i was able to actually find these at napa 24 volt um i forget the number that was on them but they they looked them right up they had them in stock and uh i was surprised all right so got the screws out of this side and you can see the difference here and here's the back of it uh, once you get in here i can see it's Got a little corrosion in here. There's no way to take this out. I mean, it is a whole the whole unit. Um, and so even on the back here, there's no, you can see all the dirt and stuff I got back here, but um, there is no place to put a, um, a bulb in it, even if I wanted to. So I'm gonna have to replace that, which is unfortunate. Um, Cause I, I was just, I'm not trying to make this a show vehicle. I'm just trying to get it uh you know working useful have it running down the road with proper lights and things like that on it so um yeah that's unfortunate but oh well let's see if i can find some so these were you know these were the regular bulbs i got those from napa um and then the ambers up here the this one was a dig this one was a led replacement by the the marines re redid it and then this bulb was just an incandescent bulb. So pop this off. I was able to change that and that. Now, <clears throat> I re I ordered just traditional incandescent light um, lights here. Actually, here's a, the old light bulb right here. It's a it's a six two three. You can see it's all burnt out, but um six two three Napa had those. You can find them. So, um, on the incandescents, I just went ahead and replaced these headlights so I can have something to, you know, go out and sling some mud with, and, um, they're good enough for right now. I know there's a lot of, uh, LEDs out there on the market, but these are okay for right now. One thing I did do, here's the old guys. Um, I cut all of these connectors off because the connectors are in good shape. They're all numbered. And I can use these again if I find a LED that doesn't really come with, or if I find a bulb or something that comes with, I mean, there's my connectors right there. So I'm gonna throw this away, but I'm gonna definitely hang on to that. On order, dash lights. Because I can't hardly see at night. So um, the dash lights are in here. Pull these out. They got to be 24 volt little guys. They literally unscrew. And uh, let's see if I can do this one hand. There you go. Literally unscrew here. And I did get the LED because that's about all you can find in these. Let's see if I can get this out. This one's being a little, little bit of a pain here. So uh, I, I need to, I don't want to break it trying to pull it out and make something hard. So. Anyway, you can see right there, I, I removed this one um, just to match it. Um, but it's just a simple push in and twist. Um, these, you can buy these too. Um, you can buy these as well. They have uh, a rubber seal on them to keep everything dry. And it, I guess if this gets cloudy or or, or um, not letting the light through, you can um, get some cleaner, clearer ones than these. These do look a little bit cloudy. Um, so I've seen these, these are kind of everywhere readily available, um, but see, uh, that one was LED, here's 
that LED. That's lit. There's your incandescents in there. This is the incandescent. I need to replace this one. And then here's the incandescent. There's the one incandescent I had for the side marker. Um, so I got a problem with this guy here. You see the, the uh, grommet that holds the screw is pulled out. Um, this is kind of broke. So maybe I'll get this replaced one day. Maybe not. So here you can see it's a combination of incandescents and LEDs in here. Um, and this is for the LEDs are for running your um, your your blacked out kind of night ops um, mode. So, but the incandescents are still here. So I want to get one of those Napa bulbs in. So I'm gonna go run turn these off. One thing you know I've read from a lot of people. This is a 24 volt system. Never try to mess with these light bulbs with the power on. If it arcs, then you are you know you're messing up your electrical system and you got a huge problem that you don't need so i did find the dash light um it is a little ring led that went in there like i said it just pushes in screws everybody's got these online uh for sale I actually ordered from from federal military parts um so anyway i've intentionally got this broken <laughs> so i don't have to worry about the the lockout and you can see new bulb versus old bulb no no comparison there so i might just go ahead and change that guy out because it's probably not long for this world well that's all i got guys uh for tonight's getting dark gotta find me some uh i guess led replacements and uh for these side markers and i'll be in business you got any questions or anything uh you know, I, I should be looking at doing, uh, give me a shout, give me some comments. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. Have a good one.